This is how you replace the battery in a mongoose field unit. So first of all, you remove the six screws around the upper plate. Uh, you could loosen them and then tip the unit up. And what you want to do is unplug the power, unplug the cables. You notice the red goes to the left. The longer cable is on top, which goes to the bottom connector on the sideboard. And the shorter cable goes to this connector, again with red on the right, and the upper connector on the bottom sideboard. And at this point you have that. Now you also want to remove either the radio cable by popping this little connector off the radio module. Um, and sometimes folks have a hard time getting those on. So in many cases, if you want to remove it, you could just wiggle off the entire radio module with the uh, connector towards the top, uh, being careful to come straight off so you don't bend the pins. And then, so you're left with the board, which you can place on the side, and the battery. Now this is a very old one um, that has uh, a very old battery in it, but the process is the same. They're going to be attached with foam tape and sometimes some Kapton, and they don't stick particularly well to the plastic. So some do, some don't, but you just really want to get a good, strong lift under one side, and it should lift up off the bottom. Um, these are lithium iron batteries, um, technically non-toxic, so you could uh, put them in the trash. Um, generally, I'd like you to discharge the unit before you change the battery until it goes off by itself. Um, or there are places where you can recycle these. Um, a lot of times Home Depot has recycling. So this was an old battery that we're replacing. You can see it has um, uh, foam tape on the bottom. So in this case, um, what we'll do is we'll just make sure the bottom is, is clean, and this one's pretty clean. Um, then you take the battery kit that we've supplied to you. And this will look like this, and it contains two things. One is a new battery with foam tape pre-applied. And the other thing are these four Kapton strips, which are used to help anchor the battery to the bottom until the foam can cure to the plastic. You know, which can sometimes take several days to a month, but these keep the shear forces from uh, pulling the battery off the bottom if you happen to drop the unit. So what you'll see is that the foam tape comes a little bit outside the edge of the battery. The easiest way to apply these is to take them off the plastic backing. And take one and align it with one side of the battery. And put it halfway, about halfway up the battery. And straight along so it doesn't extend past the end here. And then what you do is you kind of run your fingernail in to have it come out like a wing. And you could do that with the other strips as well. And the second one, you would go to the other end of the battery, so they'll overlap a little in the middle. Go about halfway up the battery. These are Captain strips. They're very strong and dimensionally stable. And uh, in this case, I overlapped them a little bit, so I'll straighten it out a little bit. And again, kind of work your finger in there so they fan out to the side. Then on the other side, you basically do the same thing. So you take the captain strip and create an anchor section for the battery. Uh, first, I'm going to go against this side about halfway up so you have a little wing out the bottom. 
and you just run your fingernail in so it kind of goes out at a right angle on top of the cap down tape like that. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact. It'll flatten out when it gets put on the bottom. And then the final strip here goes to the other side of the battery. They'll overlap a little bit in the middle, just inside of where the wires connect, again about halfway up, and pull them together uh, in the middle. And again, it's not real critical as long as they have some anchoring uh, to the bottom. So in this case you have the battery with the foam and then the captain out to the side. At that point you just remove the foam backing and you want to put the battery in the middle against this left side. And just sort of set it down on the plastic and push it down, you know, fairly hard. Um, what you don't want to do is poke it or anything on these sides. These sides are the most sensitive part and can make the battery stop working. But just, you know, give it a little bit of pressure on the top. It'll seat. And then what you do is, you again, you run your finger along this cap down and anchor it to the bottom so that it's really at a right angle. So you want to kind of get run your fingernail in there over the cap down. And same thing on the other side. And because it's at a right angle, it um, will, be, will really let you um, help anchor the battery to the bottom until the foam tape can fully cure. Uh, it also aids in any shock. If you, if you drop the unit sideways, the danger is if you don't have enough support, the battery can tor you know, get some shear forces and torque its way off. And if it runs into these bolts, it could... Um, damage the battery and then it'll stop working after time. So that's basically it. So now we reassemble things. Uh, usually the first thing I do is take the long cable and again with the red stripe to the left and insert it into this bottom connector. Okay, then I take the short cable and usually I want this one to come upwards, but again, the red to the left. As long as the red's to the left, the connectors will fit. If you put them in the wrong way, uh, there's a little key in the connector that'll prevent them from going in. So make sure they're on the left, but also the keys on the connectors will make sure that they go in the right way. With the short one, shorter one on top, make sure the connectors are in all the way. Then you just have to reconnect them. So you take your board, um, first plug in the top connector, which is the short one, I get into here. Again, the red is going to be on the left. Um, then I take my radio module. And the important thing here, it's, it's actually fairly simple to put in. You just want to make sure the pins are fully aligned and you want to make sure you don't accidentally put it in with one pin sticking over the edge. That would be incorrect uh, or off the back edge. You want to make sure that the pins align and then just push the radio module on. And while doing that, I did knock off the connector. Um, so if you choose instead to remove the connector, these are a little bit fragile in that they just have to be directly centered on top of it. If you have good, use a magnifying glass if you don't have great eyes. Um, you just sort of center the uh, ring on the button that's on the module and then press in and it'll snap in. And then the last thing to do is reconnect the battery. Uh, it's also keyed so it only goes in one way. And there you go. So at this point you can close up the lid, uh, press on, and you'll see that it'll, it'll boot up. And you can address it, and if you want, you know, test it. And uh, that should be it. So that's how you replace the battery in a mongoose module. Thanks.